Hi students, welcome to chapter 10, lesson 2. Uh, the purpose of this lesson, uh, you are going to learn how to find the volume of triangular prisms. So uh, last lesson, lesson 1, we looked at this shape, rectangular prisms. Remember a prism is a 3D figure with parallel and identical bases, so this is a rectangular prism and we looked at how to find the volume of a rectangular prism in the last lesson. And we've also talked about when you hear the word volume, what you should automatically think is we're counting cubes. Okay, today for a triangular prism, I've got a couple models for you. So this is a triangular prism. The top and the bottom bases are identical and parallel, and they are triangles. So before I st we start taking notes, I have another model I want to show you. And this is a triangular prism made out of cubes. Now you have to kind of imagine that these, I know that's not a perfect triangle right here, but imagine if this were a straight line, that would make a triangle. But for the purposes of this demonstration, that's a triangle. This base, this base here, is identical to this base. If I flip it around, this base is the same as this. They're parallel and uh, identical. And here is a triangular prism. So we are going to learn today how to find the area of one of these. Triangular prism. Okay, so the first thing, uh, actually let me go back to this model. So really the idea that we're going to look at today is if you have a triangular prism like this, the first thing you're going to do is find the area, I'm going to take off just one layer, you're going to find the area of this bottom triangle. What's the area of this? How many squares does it take to make the bottom? And then you're going to multiply the area of the base, how many squares it takes to make the base, times how many layers or the height of the overall triangular prism. That's the strategy that we're going to use today. So the first drawing, listen close to um, my explanation for the drawings that we're going to make. First thing we're going to do is draw a triangular prism. Okay, and to draw our triangular prism, I want you to come down four grid lines. Uh, again, I really suggest that you use grid paper for the notes today, just like I said for this whole chapter. So I'm going to come down four squares, and I'm going to make a triangle that is three lines, one, two, three, across the bottom, and I'm going to go up one box and over two and put a dot right there and then I'm going to connect I'm going to make a triangle just like that so that is going to be the base of our triangular pyramid okay so this is going to be the base and I'm going to tell you that uh, on the base of the triangular prism this line the base of the triangle itself, that base is going to be six feet. And there's also a height of this triangle right there. That height of the triangular base is four feet. So the height is four feet. Okay, and that's this line right here. So the base of the triangle that makes the base of the prism, it's six feet, this is six feet, and the height right here is four feet. Uh, now over here, I'm going to make the actual, so that, what we just made right there is the bottom layer, okay? It's the bottom triangle. Now what I'm going to do is draw the actual prism. So over here, I'm gonna make the same triangle, so draw a line three boxes long, one, two, three, up one, over two, connect, 
and then go up three lines from where you drew this one. One, two, three, and make the same triangle. So three lines across, up one, over two, and connect. Looks like that. So I've got two, tri two identical triangles right above each other, and they're parallel, and then I'm going to draw these lines right here. I'm going to connect the corners. So now we've got a triangular prism. So parallel bases, okay. This is a single base right here, single triangle, this. Okay, and it's also similar and parallel to this triangle on the top of the prism. So our strategy is to find the area of this triangle and multiply it by the height of the whole prism. So again, find the area of the base. How many squares does it take to make the base? And multiply that by how many layers are in the whole prism, which is the height. And that will give you the number of cubes. So it looks like this. Volume of a triangular prism. Remember, our focus is always to start with um, formulas. So the volume is, this is the base of the prism. So the volume is the area of the base, the base area, times the height of the whole prism. This is the height right here of the whole prism. Okay, and I'm going to tell you that the height is 8 feet. So this base this is the base of the prism and we are finding the area of that base that's what this represents the base of the prism area that's what this B represents this H represents the height okay so that's, again, our strategy is area of the base multiplied by how many layers are in the whole prism. So the formula, now we're going to break down this formula even more. The area of this base is the area of a triangle, which we've already learned. So instead of this capital B for the area of that triangle, I'm going to write the actual formula for area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. That's what this, this area of the base right here turns into this, the actual formula for area of a triangle. Base times height divided by 2, and then this h is still the height of the overall prism, and this is the formula that we're going to use right here. So I'm going to highlight this is our actual formula, working formula for air volume of a triangular prism. So when you're showing your work today, formula work units, this is the formula if you're finding volume of a triangular prism. Now let's plug in all the numbers. The base of the triangle is 6. The height of the base triangle is 4. So I'm going to plug those numbers into base times height. I'm going to get 6 times 4 divided by 2. Really important you don't forget that. So there is the area of the base times the height of the prism which is 8 feet. So following uh, order of operations I would do 6 times 4 makes 24 divided by 2 is 12. I'm going to go times 8. So all of that in the parentheses turns into 12 times 8. 
I get a volume of 96 feet cubed. I'm counting volume. So again, when we are showing work, our uh, strategy is always start with the formula. Then you have the work, and finally the units. Formula, work, units. If you're finding volume of a triangular prism, start with that right there. Um, okay, uh, this is one type of practice problem today. Uh, before I show you the, the next practice problem that you'll work on, hidden treasure for today. Today's hidden treasure is for you to explain exponents. And I have an example for you. If I told you to explain and solve 5 to the third power, that's what I want you to be able to explain uh, for today's hidden treasure. What does 5 to the third power mean? And solve it. Okay? So... If you need to look back at notes on exponents or look it up in the glossary, do it. Uh, but if your name comes up for today's hidden treasure, you could win if you could explain 5 to the third power. What does that mean? How do you solve it? Okay, the other kind of practice problem you're going to work on today is when you know the volume, but you don't know the height of the prism. So you know the volume, you know the base of the triangle, and you know the height of the triangle, but you don't know the overall height of the prism itself. So find the height of a triangular prism. Okay, find the height of a triangular prism, and for this example, we're going to use a triangular prism where the volume is 55 inches cubed. So I already know it takes 55 cubes to build it. The base length the base length, uh, or the base of that triangle on the bottom is going to be five inches and the base height is going to be two inches. So in my example, I already know that it takes 55 cubes. I know the base length is five and I know that the base height is 2. What I don't know, what I'm trying to find out is, how tall is this triangular prism? What is the height of it? So this is the formula that I'm going to still use this formula, so nothing changes. Uh, but first I'm going to just do a sketch of what I know over here. So, well, for, actually first we'll start with the formula. So volume equals the area of the base triangle, so that we know is base times height divided by 2 times the height. We know this, we know this, we know this, we don't know this. And I'm just going to sketch the base triangle over here. I'm going to draw that same triangle that we've done a couple times. And this time I know that uh, this is 5 inches, the base height, and then the height of this is 2 inches. So this is the information that I know. This is 5 inches, this is 2 inches. Now let's plug in all the numbers that we know into the formula and solve it. And before I do that, I'm just going to draw a line of separation here because we have two different kinds of problems. So straight volume of a triangular prism, and then here we're finding the height of a triangular prism. So two different examples. Uh, okay, I know that the volume is 55, so I'm going to put in the numbers that I know into the formula. I know that the base length, this is 5, so I'm going to plug that in. I know that the height of the base is 2 
divided by 2, and the h is what I don't know, so that just stays h. Well, how do we solve this? I'm going to solve this in parentheses here. That's 5 times 2 makes 10. Divided by 2 is 5. So all of that turns into a 5. So I've got 5. This turns into a 5. I still have h. And over here I've got 55. Well, now this is a one-step equation. My variable is h. I'm going to go back to those steps that we learned uh, back in solving equations. My h is being multiplied by 5. What is the inverse of being multiplied by 5 is divide by 5. So I'm going to show that to both sides. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. That tells me 5 over 5 becomes 1. So I've got h. And 55 divided by 5 is 11. So now I know that the height of the overall prism is 11 inches tall. Gives me the height of the prism. In fact, now I could draw the whole prism and filling out and label everything that I know. I know this is 5, I know this is 2, and now I know the overall height of the prism is 11 inches. All right, um, looks pretty complicated, but really the big idea is this. Using this formula, always starting by writing down the formula, plugging in what you know, go back to your notes to, to, for help, and always, always formula, work, units. Formula, work, units. Okay, you're going to hear me saying that over and over this chapter. Formula work units. I'm just going to highlight this formula, the same thing that we used here. To find the missing height of the triangular prism. Um, okay, well that wraps it up for lesson two. I will see you again soon for chapter 10, lesson three.